In this video, we'll be trying to solve a particular quadratic equation using completing the square method. Okay, let's look at the question. The question here says solve the equation 2 plus 3 over x is equal to 2x using completing the square method. All right, so let's solve this question here. Solution. So, solution to this. Solution here. Our first task would be to write out the question here. Our question here is 2 plus, that's 2 plus 3 all over x, it's equal to 2x. We are asked to solve this using completing the square method. Now, if you are to use completing the square method, we use that for a quadratic equation. But if you look at this, this does not exactly look like a quadratic equation, right? And our first task here would be to take the LCM of the left-hand side. So I have this, okay? You don't just jump into cross-multiplying, no. Before you cross-multiply two terms, they must be um, a single fraction. For example, A over B equal to C over D. At this point, I can now cross-multiply, okay? But by the time you now have, uh, let's say, P plus, whatever there's a plus, or even if it's a minus here, uh, that would not work. So our first task would be, we'll simplify the terms on the left-hand side and make it a single fraction. How do we do that? Very simple. This is over 1. We'll take the LCM of the left-hand side. If I take the LCM of the left-hand side, that gives you x. x divided by 1 is x. x times 2 is 2x. So the first thing I have there is 2x plus x divided by this x here gives you 1. 1 times 3 gives you 3. Okay, so it becomes this plus 3, it's equal to 2x. So I have this. Now at this point, you can now see that I have a single fraction having numerator here and denominator all over this other fraction having numerator here. Your denominator obviously is 1. So at this point where you now have single fractions on both the left hand and the right hand side, you can now cross multiply. So it becomes this times this. Alright, so I have this times this into this times this. So that becomes... 2x times x is equal to, I now have 2x plus 3 multiplying 1. So I have this. All right, let's solve this. So 2x times x, I have 2x squared plus 2x, okay, equal to, so that's equal to 2x plus 3 times 1 is 2x plus 3. So I have this. Next up, I'll move um, the right-hand terms, the, right, the terms on the right-hand side to the left-hand side, and this becomes 2x squared. Um, 2x moves over here, it becomes minus 2x, so I have minus 2x plus 3 moves over here, it becomes minus 3, and becomes minus 3, and we'll equate this to 0. So at this point now, we can say that it now looks like a quadratic equation. And the method specified in this question was completing the square method. Now, when we want to solve quadratic equation via completing the square method, what's our first task? Our first task is to ensure that the coefficient of x squared is unity. That means the coefficient of x squared here should be 1 and not any other number. So in a case like this one, I have the coefficient of x squared as being 2. What's my first task? My first task is to divide by 2. So I'll divide each term by 2. Why am I dividing by 2? Because 2 is the coefficient of x squared. So I'm having 2x squared all over 2, then minus 2x all over 2, then minus 3 all over 2. It's equal to 0 all over 2. So I have this. What's my next tax here? 2 cancels 2 is off. So I have x squared. So it becomes x squared minus 2 cancels 2, I'm left with x, so minus x. Then with this, I have minus 3 over 2. So minus 3 over 2, it's equal to 0 over 2. That gives you 0, so it's equal to 0. So I have this. All right, so here's your first task when it comes to um, completing the square method. That's your first task. What's the next task here? I'll move this one over here. If I move that, I'll be having this as being x squared minus x. Move the constant term to the right-hand side. That means this one comes over here. The negative changes to positive. That's equal to positive 3 all over 2. I have this. 
All right, so at this point, what's the next step in completing the square method? When you move your constant to the right-hand side, what's the next step? The next step is that you take half of the coefficient, the coefficient of x. Take this. And if I do that, if I look at this, the coefficient of x here is minus 1. All right, say minus, but it's also a 1 here. That makes it minus 1. That becomes half, half times, sorry, that's half. So that becomes half times minus 1. Half times minus 1 gives you minus 1 over 2. That's half of the coefficient of x. Next up, you square it. So squaring that, squaring that, it becomes, um, in brackets, minus 1 over 2, all squared. Right, so square this and then add it to both sides of the equation. So I'll add this to both the left hand side. That's this, which is x squared minus x, x squared minus x. I will add um, this is equal to also the right hand side 3 over 2. You also add the same thing there. That becomes 3 over 2. I'll still add what I just got, which is. Um, half of the coefficient of x all squared. So you'd have this. So this is the next tax there. At this point, what next? At this point here, for the left-hand side, do not expand it. Just take the terms in brackets. In brackets, all the terms that are squared, okay? For the left-hand side, do not expand. Just simply take these terms that are squared in the same bracket. The terms squared here are x, this one here, x, and then minus 1 over 2. So I'll be having x, minus 1 over 2, of course, all squared. So all squared, it's equal to, for the right-hand side, I have this one here, 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 plus, if I do minus 1 squared, minus 1 squared is minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1. That becomes 1 all over 2 squared denominator. 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is what there? 4. So I have this. All right, proceeding with this. This becomes x minus 1 over 2, all squared. It's equal to, if I take the LCM of 2 and 4, my LCM of 2 and 4 would be 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. So the numerator I have 6 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. That gives you plus 1 or plus uh, 1. Yeah, so plus 1. So I have this. All right. Proceeding with this, this becomes x minus 1 over 2 all squared is equal to 6 plus 1, 7 all over 4. So I have this. So what's the next thing here? Of course, at this point, I'll take square roots, right? Take square roots. Take square roots, right, of both sides. If I take square root of both sides, I'll be having the square root of... Um, x minus 1 over 2 all squared it's equal to the square root of 7 over 4 so we have this proceeding with this now you can see that this cancels this so I have x minus 1 over 2 is equal to now when it comes to simplifying this don't forget that we can have that the square root of a over b is equal to square root of a all over square root of b this also works. It's, it's true in mathematics. So what this means is that the square root of 7 over 4, and this will be equal to, this gives you root 7 all over root 4, okay? And that's equal to root 7. Uh, it's not an integer, okay? So we leave that as root 7 all over root 4 is actually 2. So my answer will be root 7 over 2. But whenever you take a square root, what you have there becomes plus or minus root 7 all over 2. Okay, so take note that we are adding the plus or minus here because we took the square root of this. All right, so that's why we have this. So finally, we have that x would now be equal to, I'll move this term over here. So minus 1 over 2 becomes plus 1 over 2. So I have plus 1 over 2, positive, plus or minus root 7 all over 2. And that's equal to, the first thing I have there is 1 over 2, plus 7, root 7 over 2. So that means x x is equal to 1 over 2 plus root 7 
over 2 or I'll take this and I'll take the, the lower one which is 1 over 2 minus root 7 all over 2 so we have this so how do you solve things of this nature from here this will be equal to now note that whenever you have the same denominator like 2 and 2 just simply take these ones as your numerator in essence numerator becomes 1 plus root 7 so that means x is equal to x is equal to 1 plus root 7 all over that denominator or next one here i would have the same thing here 1 minus root 7 so it becomes 1 minus root 7 or 1 minus root 7 all over 2 all right so basically this becomes the answer to this question if you want to you can punch this with your calculator and leave your answer in decimal places that's still fine but majorly this is your answer okay all right guys so if you enjoyed this video please as usual do well to like this video okay hit the like button uh, leave a comment tell us your observation and if you enjoyed the video tell us you enjoyed the video in the comment section don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe please do well to hit the subscribe button and of course hit the bell icon select all so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content Finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Don't forget to visit my website, www.journalimado.com forward slash courses. Or you can also visit my website to get my books at www.journalimado.com forward slash books. All right. So you can check the courses or the books to get any of the available courses or books. Or you can also join my channel membership. All right. So you can join my channel membership to get exclusive content for just channel members. I'll leave a link to my website to get my courses and my books as well as the as well as the link to join the channel membership in the video description. All right. All right, guys. Thank you and see you in our next class.